O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, for the sake of the prayers of thy most holy mother and all the saints, have mercy on us. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from all impurity and save our souls, O good one. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and hail our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having risen from sleep, we fall down before Thee, O Good One, and the angelic hymn we cry aloud to Thee, O Mighty One. Holy, holy, holy art Thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep hast Thou raised me up, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and heart, and open my lips, that I may hymn Thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be laid bare, and with fear do we cry at midnight, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. As I rise from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, for through thy great goodness and patience thou wast not angry with me, an idler and sinner, nor hast thou destroyed me with mine iniquities but hast shown thy usual love for mankind, and when I was prostrate in despair, thou hast raised me up to keep the morning watch and glorify thy power, and now enlighten my mind's eye, and open my mouth, that I may mediate on thy words, and understand thy commandments, and do thy will, and hymn thee in heartfelt confession, and sing praises to thine all-holy name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King and God. 
Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it with whole burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shalt they offer bollocks upon thine altar. I believe, even God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of God, cleanse me a sinner, for I have never done anything good in thy sight. But deliver me from the evil one, and let thy will be done in me, that I may open mine unworthy mouth without condemnation, and praise thy holy name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having risen from sleep, I offer unto thee, O Saviour, the midnight hymn, and falling down, I cry unto thee, 
Grant me not to fall asleep in the death of sin, but have compassion on me, O thou who wast voluntarily crucified, and hasten to raise me who am reclining in idleness, and save me in prayer and intercession, and after the night's sleep shine upon me a sinless day, O Christ God, and save me. Having risen from sleep, I hasten to thee, O Master, lover of mankind, and by thy loving kindness I strive to do thy work, and I pray to thee, Help me at all times in everything, and deliver me from every worldly evil thing and every impulse of the devil, and save me and lead me into thine eternal kingdom. For thou art my creator and the giver and provider of everything good, and in thee is all my hope, and unto thee do I send up glory, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, who in thine abundant goodness and thy great compassion hast granted me thy servant to go through the time of the night that has passed without attack from any opposing evil, do thou thyself, O Master, creator of all things, vouchsafe me by thy true light and with an enlightened heart to do thy will, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord Almighty, God of hosts and of all flesh, who dwellest on high and lookest down on things that are lowly, who searchest the heart and innermost being, and clearly foreknowest the secrets of men, O an originate and everlasting light, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning, do thou, O immortal King, receive our supplications, which we, daring because of the multitude of thy compassions, offer thee at the present time from defiled lips, and forgive us our sins, in deed, word, and thought, whether committed by us knowingly or in ignorance, and cleanse us from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant us to pass through the night of the whole present life with watchful heart and sober thought, ever expecting the coming of the bright and appointed day of thine only begotten Son, our Lord and God and Saviour, Jesus Christ, whereon the Judge of all shall come with glory to reward each according to his deeds. May we not be found falling and idle, but watching and upright in activity, ready to accompany him into the joy and divine palace of his glory, where there is the ceaseless sound of those that keep festival, and the unspeakable delight of those that behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance. For thou art the true light that enlightenest and sanctifiest all, and all creation doth hymn thee unto the ages of ages. Amen. We bless Thee, O Most High God and Lord of mercy, whoever doest with us things both great and inscrutable, both glorious and awesome, of which there is no measure, who grantest to us sleep for rest from our infirmities and relaxation from the labors of our much toiling flesh. We thank Thee that Thou hast not destroyed us with our iniquities, but hast shown Thy loving kindness to man as usual, and while we were lying in despair upon our beds, Thou hast raised us up, that we might glorify thy dominion. Wherefore we implore thy boundless goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our mind from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouth and fill it with thy praise, that we may be able steadily to hymn and confess thee, who art glorified in all and by all, the unoriginate Father with thine only begotten Son, and thine all-holy and good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I sing of thy grace, O Sovereign Lady, and I pray thee to grace my mind. Teach me to step aright in the way of Christ's commandments. Strengthen me to keep awake in song and drive away the sleep of despondency. O Bride of God, by thy prayers release me bound with the bonds of sin. Guard me by night and by day, and deliver me from the foes that defeat me. O bearer of God the life-giver, enliven me who am deadened by passions. O bearer of the unwaning light, enlighten my blinded soul. O marvelous palace of the Master, make me to be a house of the Divine Spirit. O bearer of the healer, heal the perennial passions of my soul. Guide me to the path of repentance, for I am tossed in the storm of life. Deliver me from eternal fire and from evil worms and from Tartarus. 
Let me not be exposed to the rejoicing of demons, guilty as I am of many sins. Renew me, grown old from senseless sins, O most immaculate one. Present me untouched by all torments and pray for me to the master of all. Vouchsafe me to find the joys of heaven with all the saints. O most holy virgin, hearken unto the voice of thine unprofitable servant. Grant me torrents of tears, O most pure one, to cleanse my soul from impurity. I offer the groans of my heart to thee unceasingly. Strive for me, O sovereign lady. Accept my service of supplication and offer it to compassionate God. O thou who art above the angels, raise me above this world's confusion. O light-bearing heavenly tabernacle, direct the grace of the Spirit in me. I raise my hands and lips in thy praise, defiled as they are by impurity, O all-immaculate one. Deliver me from soul-corrupting evils and fervently intercede with Christ to whom is due honor and worship, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O my plenteously merciful and all-merciful God, Lord Jesus Christ, through thy great love thou didst come down and become incarnate, so that thou mightest save all. And again, O Saviour, save me by thy grace, I pray thee, for if thou shouldst save me for my works, this would not be grace or a gift, but rather a duty. He thou who art great in compassion and ineffable in mercy, for he that believeth in me, thou hast said, O my Christ, shall live and never see death. If then faith in thee saveth the desperate, behold, I believe, save me, for thou art my God and Creator. Let faith instead of works be imputed to me, O my God, for thou wilt find no works which could justify me, but may my faith suffice instead of all works. May it answer for, may it acquit me, may it make me a partaker of thine eternal glory. And let Satan not seize me and boast a word that he hath torn me from thy hand and fold. But whether I desire or not, save me, O Christ, my Saviour, forestall me quickly, quickly, for I perish. Thou art my God from my mother's womb. Vouchsafe me, O Lord, to love thee now as fervently as I once loved sin itself, and also to work for thee without idleness, diligently as I worked before for deceptive Satan. But supremely shall I work for thee, my Lord and God, Jesus Christ, all the days of my life, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O holy angel that standeth by my wretched soul and my passionate life, forsake not me a sinner, nor shrink from me because of mine intemperance. Give no place for the cunning demon to master me through the violence of my mortal body. Strengthen my poor and feeble hand, and guide me in the way of salvation. E, O holy angel of God, guardian and protector of my wretched soul and body, forgive me all wherein I have offended thee all the days of my life, and if I have sinned during the past night, protect me during the present day, and guard me from every temptation of the enemy, that I may not anger God by any sin, and pray to the Lord for me, that he may establish me in his fear, and show me his servant to be worthy of his goodness. Amen. O my most holy lady Theotokos, through thy holy and all-powerful prayers, banish from me thy lowly and wretched servant, despondency, forgetfulness, folly, carelessness, and all filthy, evil, and blasphemous thoughts from my wretched heart and my darkened mind, and quench the flame of my passions, for I am poor and wretched, and deliver me from many and cruel memories and deeds, and free me from all their evil effects. For blessed art thou by all generations, and glorified is thy most honorable name unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pray unto God for me, O holy God-pleaser, for I fervently flee unto thee, the speedy helper and intercessor for my soul. O Theotokos and Virgin, rejoice, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, for thou hast borne the Saviour of our souls. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. 
grant thou victory to orthodox Christians over enemies, and by the power of thy cross do thou preserve thy commonwealth. Remember, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, thy mercies and compassions which are from the ages, for the sake of which thou didst become man, and didst will to endure crucifixion and death, for the salvation of those that rightly believe in thee, and having risen from the dead, didst ascend into the heavens, and sittest at the right hand of the Father, and regardest the humble entreaties of those that call upon thee with all their heart, incline thine ear, and hearken unto the humble supplication of me, thine unprofitable servant, as an order of spiritual fragrance which I offer unto thee for all thy people, and first remember thy holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, which thou hast provided through thy precious blood, and establish and strengthen and expand, increase, pacify and keep her unconquerable by the gates of Hades, calm the dissensions of the churches, quench the raging of the nations, and quickly destroy and uproot the rising of heresy, and bring them to naught by the power of thy Holy Spirit. Save, O Lord, and have mercy on the Russian land, and her orthodox people both in the homeland and in the diaspora, this land and its authorities. Save, O Lord, and have mercy on the holy Eastern Orthodox Patriarchs, most reverend Metropolitans, Orthodox Archbishops and Bishops, and all the priestly and monastic order, and all who serve in the Church, whom Thou hast appointed to shepherd Thy rational flock, and through their prayers have mercy and save me a sinner. Save, O Lord, and have mercy on my spiritual Father, and through His holy prayers forgive my sins. Save, O Lord, and have mercy on my parents, brothers and sisters, and my kindred, according to the flesh, and all the neighbors of my family and friends, and grant them thine earthly and spiritual good things. Save, O Lord, and have mercy on the aged and the young, the poor and the orphans and widows, and those in sickness and sorrow, misfortune and tribulation, those in difficult circumstances and in captivity, in prisons and dungeons, and especially those of thy servants that are persecuted for thy sake and the orthodox faith by godless peoples, by apostates and by heretics, and remember them, Visit, strengthen, comfort, and by thy power quickly grant them relief, freedom, and deliverance. Save, O Lord, and have mercy on them that hate and wrong me, and make temptation for me, and let them not perish because of me, a sinner. Illumine with the light of awareness the apostates from the Orthodox faith, and those blinded by pernicious heresies, and number them with thy holy apostolic Catholic Church. Remember, O Lord, those that have departed this life, Orthodox kings and queens, princes and princesses, most holy patriarchs, most reverend metropolitans, Orthodox archbishops and bishops, those in priestly and clerical orders of the Church, and those that have served thee in the monastic order, and grant them rest with the saints in thine eternal tabernacles. Remember, O Lord, the souls of thy departed servants, my parents, and all my kindred according to the flesh, and forgive them all transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, granting them the kingdom and a portion of thine eternal good things, and the delight of thine endless and blessed life. Remember, O Lord, also all our fathers and brethren and sisters, and those that lie here, and all Orthodox Christians that departed in the hope of resurrection and life eternal, and settle them with thy saints, where the light of thy countenance shall visit them, and have mercy on us, for thou art good and the lover of mankind. Grant, O Lord, remission of sins to all our fathers, brethren and sisters that have departed before us, in the faith and hope of resurrection, and make their memory be eternal.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, bless. O Lord, Jesus Christ, Son of God, for the sake of the prayers of thy most pure Mother, our holy and God-bearing fathers, and all the saints, have mercy on us. Amen. Heart 